Bucks versus Celtics. This game is number three trending on YouTube right now. I have no idea how or why. Milwaukee, game three, and a time of urgency and finality in the backcourt. Terry Rozier has been one of the major storylines so far in for Tony Snell and for John Henson. 20 points in the series. So give it to them for stepping up at home and maximizing their game. Naturally, they are not getting enough shots at the basket. Middleton lobs it up for Antenna Kupo. Cavs might be losing 2-1 to not, the Pacers right in the first round of the playoffs. That's actually happening. That's not an opinion. That's a fact. You know what else is a fact? Cavs might be losing 2-1 to the Pacers in the first round. But the Jason Warriors Tatum, the still choke. Rookie, a three-one lead games, he's only in the 11, finals. But they're not giving in a the good fucking looks. finals. His first playoff appearance. Can good you good tell me which one is worse? Eric, head coach Brad Stevens praised his defensive positioning and his maturity at that end of the floor. Middleton from downtown. Bad news already. Boston has three offensive rebounds. Antenna Kupo from deep. Got it. They like to play through him Fucking irritating. Now they find Middleton working against Rose. That game just pissed me off. I swear to God, I felt them wanting to lose that game so bad. From the very start, it just felt like they wanted to lose. We go up 10, 15, they choke it instantly. They don't want to fucking win, bro. It's fucking irritating. Get into it. You see Delhi just shadowing Rozier. Stuck to it like a cheap suit. Give me that. Beat it up, God. The block. He blocked the Deanna's. It's a big game for Milwaukee. They kind of have to win this. Give me that. Damn, Tom Maker's going absolutely insane. Holy fuck. Holy fuck. It's the kind of energy we need on the fucking Cavs. Don't block him again. This nigga is insane. Holy fuck. That's insane. The Bucks are hooping on all cylinders right now. Yes. This is as, this is as good as they can possibly play. If they don't win this game, they deserve to get swept. Like they can't play any better than this. They're blocking everything. They're making everything. So he's got 12 points in the second quarter. Jeez. Home court advantage is real as fuck. Celtics are feeling the same way the Cavs are, but way in a way worse fashion. But either way, the Celtics are still hella chilling because they'll still be up to one. Cavs, on the other hand, the next game we play is a must win, and we go down 3-1 to the fucking Pacers. We go down 3-1 to the Pacers. I don't even think I'll watch the next game. I don't even want to see the next game. I don't want to see it. I won't even watch it. I won't even watch it. Unless there's another game after that. Unless the Cavs play again in two days, then I'll watch that game that I missed. Then I but if we if we lose get if we lose the next game, go down three one. I'm not watching the game after that. I refuse to watch it. I refuse to know anything. I don't wanna see it. I don't wanna I don't wanna have that in my memory. I can do without that thought in my life. You know what I mean? So when people say, Oh, he choked it up, I didn't fucking see it. I didn't fucking see it, so I don't know what the fuck happened. Feel me? I'm not watching it. I'm not watching it. If, if they go up to anyone, I'm not watching it. I'm telling you that now. I'm not watching it. It's not. It's not happening. Like that's 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 how I feel right now. That's how I fucking feel right now. Curry stopper. Down out there doing everything. Fuck around with him. It's a tough shot. I don't know how the fuck he makes shit like that. We'll take that. Thank you, Brogdon. Keep smacking them threes on the ass. Fuck it.
Giannis not even doing shit really, low key. Team just hooping. They popping hella threes, hella threes, hella hella threes. Blocking everything. Even Giannis popping the bitches. That's when you know you lost. Motherfuckers got 37 points in the third quarter. What? That's even more crazy than the 45 that the Cavs had a few days ago. 39 with nine minutes left. That's embarrassing. That's fucking embarrassing. These motherfuckers are gonna score 60 points in the game. Like, what are you? What are you guys doing? We were down beta half on that. We just yes. A deuce. He's an he's an, an aggressive look to the corner for Middleton. Late on the shot clock, taken away by Jason Tatum. He goes all the way. If the Celtics somehow get back in this game, I swear. That made me forget about the Cavs game for a split second. Now I'm back to being fucking angry. But that was hot. That was hot. That was hot. That was hot. That was insane. That was insane. That wasn't hot. That was insane. That was insanity. That's what that was. That was insanity. That was unreal. That's not real. It's anything but real. All right, I'm done. He can't guard me. Rozier defensively just can't relax. Four three. Parker. Uh oh. Can't let up now, man. Got to keep smacking them hoes. Maybe it took some of that to get him. He was the first to admit that he. You start, stop, Tatum. Chris Middleton. That's a tough, tough shot. Good shot, bless him. On second chance opportunities. Baker. Rips the three pointer. About six. Well, Bucks, that was a good performance. It was a good performance. It was a good performance. For some parts of the game, it made me forget about the Cavs, which is always great. Um, good performance by the Bucks. We really see what they're made of in this next game. If you guys are really about that grind, you know what I mean, really about that wake up early morning hotel grind, <laughs> then you'll win the next game. You know what I mean? If you really, if you really about that shit, you'll win the next game. I don't know if you guys are about it. I know the subjects are gonna come out and try their hardest to win the next game. That next game is gonna be a motherfucker, man. I wish I could be there. That shit's gonna be fire, fire, absolute fire, fire game. Coming. I'm sure it's sold out like shit right now. Yeah, they just dominated you guys. Everyone just dominated you. Giannis didn't even need to go for 30, and they just dominated you guys. You know what I'm saying? Chanel's hitting shots. Bledsoe's hitting shots. Brogdon's hitting shots. Delic popped a few threes. Don popped a few threes. Like, they're firing on all cylinders. Might as well let Jabari Parker get one. You know what I'm saying? It's that type of night. <laughs> Shot clock reset. Way 27 in the TD Garden. Go so tighten things up. Hey. And one. Ridiculously efficient. He really got into him, didn't he? Yes, he did. Well, how much? For three. Practice. All right, man. Get us out of here. No one cares about these last minutes of the game. Get us the fuck out of here. They brought it tonight. It was a big factor early as the Bucks. Good shit, Bucks. It's a good win. It's a good win. On itself, and Milwaukee has extended the series to at least five games, beating Boston 116 to 92. High scores only had 16 on the Bucks. I mean, on the Celtics. That's absolute shit. And high score on the 
Change fucking bucks on that 23. That's what I'm saying. A, a lot of people probably had like 10, 15, though. A lot of people probably had like 10, 15. All right, that's going to do it. That made me feel a little bit better. But I'm still pissed off. Like I said, Cavs lose the next game. I'm not watching the one after that. They'll have to win that one. And then I'll watch the one after that. But if they lose, go down 3-1. Yeah, nah, I'm not watching that. I'm not watching game five. You can suck my dick. It's not happening. I watch game six, not game five. Fuck that. Anyways. I'm out here, man. Pray for the Cavs. I'm going.